Fantastic. Oh, what a game changer. Fire makes everything better. In a survival situation. Oh, this feels so good. Well, we're back in the jungle. In the Amazonian rainforest, surviving once again. Welcome back to Green Hell. We're starting from scratch. We're going to take this right out of the gate together. One step at a time. So let's go ahead and watch out for rattlers, scorpions, and tarantula. One step at a time. Easy does it. Easy does it. Watch out for that uh, heavy, heavy brush. <laughs> That's how it is here. You've got to watch every step. Every step of the way, you need to monitor where you're walking, what's around you. And uh, yeah, it's not that easy in this thick brush. Of course, we are going to get leeches. There's nothing we can do about them. They just grab on for the ride, the little stinkers. But first things first, let's find some sticks and some stones. And we can make our first set of tools. That's always nice. And then... We eh? There's something. Uh, oh my gosh, what the heck is this? It's a plane! The plane, the plane! Look at this! Oh, this is awesome! Somebody crashed here. Kind of reminds me of the show Lost, right? No contraband in there, is there? <laughs> Something to take our mind off this ordeal? Nope, no such luck. Oh, there's a cave! <gasps> Ooh, this is a whole new spot. So this is pretty cool. The game actually does randomize your, uh, your starting location. Log bed. He has a bed here, which is pretty cool. Somebody stayed here. Look at this. Somebody stayed here. Maybe the person that crashed. We've got coconuts, beef jerky, a can, coconut bowl, fresh coconut. We can eat that right now. Um, in fact, yeah, let's... Uh, oh, boy, this is good stuff. Obsidian! Oh, obsidian stone. I know we can make obsidian tools. Oh, maggots! Yuck. Keep those right there. We might need them. We might need them for an infection later. They'll eat that infection right out of your body. So this is just a shallow cave. This is a great spot. Campfire ash. Yes, somebody stayed here. It's so great that there's a bed here. That is really fantastic. So we don't have to make one and we have a place to sleep tonight. Safely and securely, I hope, anyway. Oh, there's the rest of the plane up there. <laughs> How can we get up there? Maybe this log right here, this tree is put here for us to climb. Could be, but that's a really long way up, and it's probably not a good idea. It's very slippery. So let's not do that. There's, there's got to be another way up there eventually. But let's not concern ourselves with the plane. I think it's just for decoration. Although maybe there's some useful items up there. I don't know. But right now, we need to do the, uh, we need to do the survival thing and start by collecting the rocks and the sticks and all that jazz. Um, and we're gonna need a fire eventually. That that could be a really good spot for a fire. But we need dry leaves for that. So here, here's what I've been doing with the dry leaves. Oh, I can't do it yet until we get rocks, right? So let's go get rocks. That's the first thing to do. There's some shrooms. Uh, I guess we'll grab them now. Can't hurt. These are edible. I think they give you carbohydrates. A little bit of food in the belly. It's the weirdest little sounds that they make when you pick them up. Is that those bats? Oh, more mushrooms over here. Sweet. Oh, there's the big stone. Okay, harvest it. Rah, rip it apart. And now we can make our little kniffy. Now that obsidian, I'm not really sure how to make tools with obsidian. We'll have to try to figure that out. I'm not honestly uh, positive about that. God, I'm thirsty. Thirsty already? Dude, we just got here. Sheesh. Stop your belly aching. Let's grab all the mushrooms. Let's make our axe right now. That should be easy peasy. Stick, lashing, and um, this thing in my hands. And another stone blade that we can use for a spear shortly. But I think what we need to do first is go grab something to drink. Although, let's chop this guy right here. So we're getting axe skill, which is going to be useful here in the jungle, but the most important thing about that is it gives us a small leaf pile and we can use that for tinder. We're starting a fire later and I think I'm gonna grab some more. Can I, can I chop this fire right here? Oh yeah, sure we can. Right. Now let's go back into our awesome cave. This is so beautiful. Man, what a find. 
And let's drop the uh, let's drop the small leaf piles right here. They'll dry out in a long, long time. And now <gasps> let's have a drink. And chapa you too. Drink it, pick it up, and a rotten banana down there. Um, so now we're gonna come out here and we're gonna eat. We're gonna harvest these coconuts and just pull them apart with my bare hands and eat them. So when you eat a coconut half, you're just eating the meat. And the little bowls are saved for using as tools. Just like this, we can drop them on the ground here. And when it rains, they fill up with rainwater. Fresh, potable, drinkable water. And we can drink them right out of the bowls off the ground, which is fabulous. And I think we're going to make one more blade. And then we're going to make a spear, but we need a long stick for a spear and a lashing. So we're going to have to go into the jungle. And again, watch your step. Ah! Oh, I thought that was a snake. <laughs> it's a bird nest. Actually, that's fantastic. It's fire starting material right there. So we're going to get a fire tonight. I hear something moving around in here. That sounds... <gasps> eh? Sounds like something in there. So much movement on here. Oh, there's a mouse! Did you see that little guy? <laughs> he just ran by. Oh, he was adorable. It's too bad we're going to have to <gasps> eat you someday. <laughs> that's good eating right there. A few grams of protein, probably. So I'm watching a show. Well, I just finished watching the show called Alone on the History Channel. And it's basically 12 people put out in some region. They were in um, they were in Mongolia this time around. Ooh, drop that. Yeah, really a harsh place to live, but absolutely beautiful. But uh, so 12 people dropped off a few miles away from each other. And the last one to survive, well, they don't die. They, they, they tap out. <laughs> <laughs> the last one to tap out wins half a million dollars and they lasted like I, I forget how many days 70 days or something like that and uh, it's a really great show I love it I think it's season 4 or something up to about season 4 but the point I'm making is they always catch mice they make little deadfall traps and eat up the mice of course in that show they'll eat anything eat anything you can get your hands on right okay let's carry our big stick Back to the cave, because we're going to use this in a, uh, a future build to make a shelter. And we need a big stick for that. Might even make another spear. Oh, another big rock down there, too. We got big sticks and big stones around these parts, don't you know? And this obsidian, I think I'm just going to leave the obsidian in here for now. I don't know what to use it for. Let's pick all this stuff up over here. Oh, there's another obsidian! Another obsidian stone. Candy bar, coconut bowl. I think I'm going to plant out a fire. Yeah, let's put a fire way back in the back, back of the back of this cave. And we'll toss some sticks in there. That's it? Okay, that's all the sticks I got. Let's eat some of these mushrooms, too, while we're here. These give us uh, carbs and some energy. Since we're using up a lot of energy today. First day here in the jungle. And how about a candy bar? It's got a wrapper on it. Must be good, right? And let's check Beepy. Beepy! Come on out here. Ooh, Beepy says we're a little bit thirsty and we need protein. Everything else is looking good. Alright, well, let's go get some protein. What number is my spear? Three. Let's go stab a snake. Gotta be a snake around here somewhere. We're gonna walk right down the middle of this stream. And look for a rattler. They're easy to spot in the streams and on the shore. At least they're a lot easier to spot in the streams than they are in the woods. <laughs> they're not so easy to spot in that thick brush out there, right? Oh, look at that. A nut. Ooh. Nuts good for fat. Oh, there's a guy making all the dang noise. Hi, buddy. It's a tapir. A tapir. Um, a nut. We can eat a nut. Nuts will give us fats, right? Do we need any fats? We're good on the fats right now. Hold on to those nuts. We got big sticks, big stones, and big old nuts here in the jungle. Oh, check it out. Easy. See, when you race forward for something, when you see something delicious, that's when you run into the rattler. <laughs> Every single time. All right, this is good. We can drink this guy right here on the ground. Pick it up. And now we're going to hold on to that coconut as is because we can use it um, to make a bidon. 
which is French for canteen. And we can do that easily enough with, uh, with some rope and a coconut. Oh, there's a larva here. Hi, little guys. I don't think we should eat those. I think they are, um, what's that? I, I think they lower your sanity. I mean, there's pro it is protein, but I think they, oh, dang it, there goes my ax. All right, we need to make a new ax. All right, got a new ax. Let's chop this thing down because it has a couple of um, dry leaves up here. We need the dry ones. There we go. Pick it up. Oh, we gotta hold it. Hold it down. Got it. That's one dry leaf. Two dry leaf. Let's check it out. Yeah, dry leaf's fantastic, and you can put those here in this little side pocket, which is really cool. All right. Let's go find some protein before it gets dark. What time is it anyway? Let's check with the beepster. Three o'clock in the afternoon. We're looking pretty good. We are looking pretty good right now. But this is how it always starts. Everything's fantastic until it isn't anymore. It's when the poop hits the fan and then uh, then you gotta react. And that's when things get crazy. When you meet the hostile neighbors or you uh, get stung by something or bit by something. <laughs> And then it's then you go into panic mode. All right. Oh, Rattler! Rattler! I saw him before he saw us. I think. Oh no, he saw us because his his rattler is going, but we didn't hear him. All right. I'm gonna wind up and chuck that spear at him. I thought something was coming at us. <laughs> Tastes like chicken. Let's harvest it up. Mmm. I can't wait. Actually, it does taste like chicken. I've had rattlesnake. In, uh, in Arizona. <laughs> Tastes like chicken. Alright, so that gives us some protein for tonight. That'll be fantastic. Let's go ahead and harvest this coconut. And we'll eat it. You just have to be really careful what you're pointing at. Because if you're pointing at the wrong thing and eat something raw, it's going to be bad. It's going to be bad for you real quickly. Oh, raw the lashings. <gasps> oh. Oh, here's some lashings right here. Let's watch our step here. What does that sound? Is that a storm? Sounds like wind. Heavy winds coming through? Could be. What we need is rain. I mean, it is a rain for us, so I'm hoping it rains. And they'll fill up our little bowls with rainwater. All right, you know what? It's starting to get dark. I think we should head back. And uh, get a fire going. Oh, something running. Hi. Can't really see that in the dark. What was that little guy? Some little creature. Um, but we need more sticks probably, right? I really don't like walking through the... Oh, there's a stick. Saw ya. Gotcha. Oh, full. Really? Wow. Okay, good. Let's go chuck all this wood on the fire. Get this thing started. Shouldn't be too difficult. Now, there we go. Fill it up. It's filled up. Small fire created. And now, can we drop that spear? Ember required. Yes, I do know that. So now what we need to do is... Oh, we need to make a um, fire starter. Which means we need a stick. Can I use this stick and harvest that into small sticks? I think so. Yes, small sticks. Oh, but now I need a regular size stick. <laughs> that didn't work. Oh, dang it. There was a small stick right there. I'm going to save that big stick. I don't want to mess that one up. We just need one more stick. And we can make our fire drill. Really don't like this. Oh, here we go. Oh, they're all small ones, of course, right? When it rains, it pours. Chop this guy down and get him. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's just do the choppery. It's going to help our axe skill. We've got a nice big long pole again. I'm going to need those for a shelter. And the only way to save in this game is to make a shelter. And that is going to be our goal. Oh, I'm pooped. Oh, here comes the rain. Good, 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 good. We can go get a drink. Go get a drink. Um, stick. All right. We got a nice long stick here. Oh, no, a leech. Ah, dang it. Bad timing, leech. I can't see. It's always the last place you look, the first leech. I think it's programmed. Okay, no, it's not programmed now. Wow, look at them all. 
Sheesh, all at once. What the heck was going on here? They're all hiding in ambush, <laughs> waiting. <laughs> all right, pick up that long stick. Let's bring it back. All right. So, that's two long poles. I think we need three total to make the shelter, so we might even be able to do it. I think we have three, right? All right, let's put that down, and let's get this fire started. First, we need to make the fire drill, a hand drill. That's done. Get rid of that. Get a little closer, but not too close. We don't want to burn ourselves. And then, uh, yeah, use. Just like that. And then we get our fire starting material. A bird's nest, that'll work. And there we go. We just gotta get an ember. Come on, buddy, you can do it. <gasps> what? Dude? Dude, really? What's going on? Well, that's not good. I don't think I've ever failed with the fire before. Okay, we got a little more bird's nest here. Let's try again. Oh, you know what it is? You need energy. Oh, okay. Hold on, pal. We got lots and lots of energy. Let's eat all these unknown mushrooms, get some energy back. I think that's the problem. I'm running out of energy before I can get the ember created. So we'll eat all that. And how about this thing here? Do these give energy? No. Okay, now we should be able to do it. I hope so. A little bit of bird's nest left. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. You can do it. Now. Oh, we did. Okay. Oh, I didn't see that ember there. Fantastic. Oh, what a game changer. Fire makes everything better in a survival situation. Oh, this feels so good. I'm going to cook up this rattler. Oh, yeah. Oh, smell that. Smells wonderful. Now let's make our bidon. Put some of that rope there and a... Where's our big coconut? Give us your big, lovely coconut. There we go. We got our bidon. And we can go uh, grab some water from those bowls out there. Yeah, let's make a torch, which is rope and I think one stick. Yeah, a weak torch. Let's make a weak torch and let's go back out. Let's ignite that. Oh, fantastic. All right. Ooh. Rattlesnake is done. You want some? Cooking skill just went up a little bit and now we're gonna eat it for some sanity and some protein oh baby that feels good oh so so nice all right let's go get some water wait is this torch even lit it's weird it's not much of a torch is it well let's see if we can do this in the dark stupid piece of yeah that was a weak torch all right my gosh it's gone it didn't even provide any light so here you go. Here's our coconut bowls with clean water in them. We can just drink it right out of the bowls. Ten hydration apiece. Lovely indeed. Or we can use our bidon on the water like this. And fill it up. See that? Pretty cool, right? And yeah, we can carry that around. It holds 40, 40 hydration units. Okay, those are all empty now. I'm gonna wait for another storm to fill them up again. Do I have any more half? Yes, I do. Let's put some more of these out. All right, our French canteen is now full of water. 40 units. Let's have one more sip for bed. I think it's time. I think it's time for bed. What's all that noise? Is that a mouse? Something's getting eaten out there, I think. All right, let's throw, uh, can we throw some more wood on this fire just to make sure it goes through the night. Just drop sticks on it right out of your backpack. Very, very cool. And I think we'll just leave some sticks right here. Whoop, where'd that thing go? Okay, over here. Sounds fine. For the future, for firewood, and uh, also for making stuff. All right, let's check the time. Ooh, it's getting late. It's 10 o'clock. So we're not going to make the shelter tonight, unfortunately. I don't want to do that in the dark. It requires a lot of material. So I think what we'll do right now... Oh, there's more mushrooms over there. They glow in the dark. That's awesome. Is uh, just go to bed. Get a good night's rest. And then in the morning, we'll, uh, we'll make our shelter. And then I can save it. 
Let's just throw a couple more sticks on here. I just want to make sure that this thing goes through the entire night. All right, close enough. Close enough for government work. All right, good night. See you in the morning. <laughs> good morning. Fire's still burning. Oh my gosh, it's almost out though. It's almost out. Let's throw that one little stick on there. Let's go get some more wood. What time is it anyway? Almost seven o'clock in the morning. Wow, it's bright and early. Bright and early. It's not very bright, but it is early. All right, how about if we, uh, I think we should just harvest one of these sticks and we'll go get some more long poles. I just want to keep that fire cooking. There we go. A couple of sticks. Don't want it to go out while we're out in the jungle doing jungly stuff. Whoops, what happened there? Get in there. All right, that's good enough. Okay. How are we doing on drink? We're looking good. We're looking good. I think right now what I'm going to do is focus on the shelter so that I can save the game and we can continue in the next episode because this episode is getting really, really long <laughs> and we have to call it quits. So let's go find those skinny trees. Which we're right over here somewhere, right? Yeah, here's another one. And we should get a couple of long poles out of this one. I think it's three long poles and then a whole bunch of palm leaves and maybe some lashings. So it shouldn't be too difficult to make. Alright. So that's three long sticks. Easy down easy does it, fella. Down. Down, down, down. There. Let's go ahead and bring up that shelter. Here comes the rain, that's good. We can drink. So this is what we're after, the hut shelter. Eight sticks, three long sticks, one rope, and 13 palm leaves. Yeah, that's a lot of palm leaves. Can we turn it this way? I'd like to have the door facing the cave. There we go, right on the shore, right there. Perfect. All right, let's fill it up. Oh, I can't put the long stick on until I put all the smaller sticks on first. What is that? Is that one of the natives' calls? Could be. There's more larva. You know, I'll, I'll snatch them up. I'm not sure what we can do with them. I know you can eat them. But I think they reduce your sanity. Oh, no! We got hostiles! We got hostiles. Great. Everything was going so well, too, until these guys moved into the neighborhood. <laughs> there goes the neighborhood! <laughs> Oh, no, you're kidding me. Dang it. All right, well, we'll have to take them out before they take us out. Just keep that spear up in case they come over here and want to talk. We'll be ready and waiting. All right, stick. Uh, long stick. So those are the calls that they make. That's what that is. Another long stick. And the last long stick up on top. And now rope. Okay. See? Pretty easy to make. Now it's just a matter of collecting all these palm leaves. Just got to run them back and forth. Keep your eyes open for that uh, native. All right. There's one. 13 total, right? Take a minute or two. Yeah, I think those are native calls. They're like bird calls, talking to one another. They think they're being clever, but I understand. It says, dude in the cave, let's go get him. <laughs> Just like the last one. But that's not going to happen. I'm ready for him. I'll be ready for him. Yay! We got our shelter. Hut shelter created, and now we can save it. But I think... Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Something's wrong. Do I have leeches? I could have leeches. Oh, gosh. I have ah. leeches. All right. I didn't see that. I'm so focused on my shelter. Uh, all right. Let's drink up. I have a little bit of water here. All right. We're looking pretty good. What are we doing for stats? Well, we need protein, but other than that, we're looking okay. We'll do that in the next episode. So right now, I'm going to click on hold and save. <laughs> And stab the shelter. That's wonderful. That's just great. 
<laughs> Alright, put the spear down. It did save. Anyway, yeah, let's uh, let's continue with the next episode. Hope you all enjoyed this one, and we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye. What's that? What was that? I think we're being hunted. I think it's the predator. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm gonna get in the cave. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.